creating a zipper cascade, which is uh, a series of cascades that um, exist on one wall and they feed the marble down to uh, cascades underneath them instead of going around corners. Kind of like a zipper shape. The first cascade I, I place um, so there's space off to one side, off to the left side, that's the space where the marble is going to fall. I place the next trigger um, in a position where the marble will be able to fall directly downward and, and be caught completely by the, the lower cascade ramp. Then I, I create a wall, kind of a, a bumper, that, um, that will catch the marble so it doesn't go off the edge. And that's what I'm placing now. Just glue that in place and I make sure that there's enough space for the marble to fall. Now I'm going to create a curb that will help the marble flow down the ramp. It will also give it a, give it a little speed so um, it doesn't get stuck in the corner when it falls off of the top ramp. I make sure that the cardstock strip is wide enough so that it will cover most of the width of the ramp. Otherwise the marble might um, get stuck off to one side or the other. Then I just glue it in place. And now I'm going to attach the top ramp to the wall that catches the marble. The catching wall. I'm not sure what else to call it. Just glue that in place and then test it. Now this is something that I, I will show in a later video on the castle stage, but I want to show this now so you get a, a better look at what I'm doing. Um, during the castle stage I will place a cardstock and paper wall against the side of every single ramp. That makes the ramps more sturdy and, and makes the whole structure look better too. And that wall as you can see is the same base color as the wall behind it. I mean the the ramp wall is the same color as the uh, the wall behind it. The wall that carries the ramps. Now what I'm doing here is blending. Um, there was a little space where you could see the purple of, of the cascade ramp and I just covered that up with a piece of paper. 